Hi, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I'm going to talk about portals, or could you call them vortexes, wormholes, stargates, or whatever you call these magnificent things that allow us to go through time and space into other dimensions or other alternate realities or even just to bypass geography to land in a different location than where you are now in your same time frame. Wow! I hope you found them all of that that I just said because that is what portals, and now I'm just going to call them portals today, okay? But they could be vortexes, wormholes, whatever, okay? But I'm just going to use portals. So what are they? How many of them are there? How do we know where they are? And what can come through them? Are all going to be answered today. Okay, let's get straight into it. What is a portal? Now, if you've watched any of the sci-fi movies like Stargate, even um, I think it was in one of the Avengers by the MCU movies where... Um, they have these round things in the sky and you go through it and oh, what luck, now you're on a different planet, okay? There's one with Natalie Portman, she's in this stairwell and when they drop the keys down, they go through this whoop and they disappear because they're in a different location, okay? Different location could be anywhere on earth or otherwise, okay? So what are these things? If we look into science... Science actually has somewhat proven the existence of portals, okay? If we look into string theory, they believe that there are planes, which are like sheets, okay? So a plane is what we live in here on this three-dimensional world. I'm trying to make this really easy for us to follow, okay? So a plane or a sheet okay, is where we are in this three-dimensional world. Then we have what's called a string, which could be like a wormhole, okay, think of it like a wormhole. So there's strings going from one dimension to another with these strings attached. So it's called string theory. Now, when we look at words like energetic connection, what do I refer to when I say that? Okay, I am Linda and I've got an aura. Okay, please follow this if you're having a little bit of a struggle time here. Okay, me, Linda, I've got this aura and then I've got my daughter in the house who she also has her aura. Then on this side, I've also got my cat and they also have an aura of energy around them. You're following that? So when we talk connection of energies, my aura is totally separate to the aura of my child. But through the connection of consciousness, we are now formed or melded together. If you know what melded is, M-E-L-D-E-D. -E -D. It's when you're like fusing two, two parts together like wood and steel. It's melded if you look at medieval um, armors and stuff where they meld things together, okay? So it's like fusion. This is also science, okay? So it's the fusion of one energy field to another. That is what a portal is. Are you following it? So where are they? We have so many portals on this planet. It is unfair fathomable to find them all okay I personally say there are portals approximately every four to six feet you heard that right okay in my house here where I live I've identified four inside the house then I've got two in my backyard and I've got a big one in my front yard there's many on the road. I drive down my major road here and when I go through them, which I'm going to explain. What was that? Did you notice that? So as we look at what um, 
I just saw this thing. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. So when we look at where they are, that's somehow what we can identify as what they are. So a portal can be anything from minuscule up to quite large. Okay. I've got one out in my dining room and it's got a radius of about five foot. It's a huge one. Then I've got a little one um, in my kitchen and it's only little. It's only about this big. So size does not matter <laughs> when it comes to portals, okay? It's the energy that comes through them or should I say is created from them is what we've got to look at, okay? So if we look at it back at string theory where we have these sheets, okay, which is our dimension. So we're in the third dimension here. Here's the fourth dimension. We've got the fifth dimension down here, right? And we've got these like sh um, strings connecting, okay? It's energy connection, okay? So those strings, which is that energy connection, which is the portal, actually creates the energy through the friction, okay, of creating the energy from one plane to another or a sheet, okay? They're called sheets in string theory, okay? Because I've studied all this. I'm not even a scientist. I don't know how I learn all this stuff, but I try and make it into language that we can understand it, okay? So imagine I've got a portal on my back wall here, okay? Because they do some somehow, they do... Um, like being there where we've got walls, etc. Okay, it's funny that, but there's so many of them, they're everywhere. Okay, so I had a lady. Now, I'm going to dedicate this video today. Let me just wipe my eyes. Okay, K from New York. It's the initial K from New York. Hello, good morning. Okay, this person has got a portal in their house that they wished to close. Wow, can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm going to go into that today as well also. So let's have a look at what we've got to do here. First of all, we've got to identify where they are. So as you walk around your house, close your eyes and just feel psychically. You may get a pull because vortexes like pulling you in. Oh, it's like the, uh, oh, okay, that's what you're feeling for. So it's not like you're feeling for your loved grandmother or someone else who's passed over. It's not the same, okay? It's like a magnetic pull. Whoa, I want to go this way, okay? Or, oh, I'm getting sucked backwards, okay? That's what you want to look for. So the best way to do it is close your eyes because then you're not looking anywhere and you just feel, am I getting pulled in any direction? And you sway around like a pen, uh, like a pendulum. This is how I do it. You move around like a pendulum slowly and you just think, okay, where am I getting pulled? I'm getting pulled this way. Ah, okay. And then you've got to pay attention to where the pull stops. Okay. I'm getting pulled to here, okay? So now you can identify where they are. If you're lucky like me, I see portals, okay? Now, when I had the Shelly ghost here, remember Shelly, the girl that came here? She died in a car accident back in the 1970s. She was in my house, and I've got this huge portal in my dining room, okay? She saw it as well as I saw it because I can activate it, okay? So I'm going to teach you that today too. So when I first see it, it's almost like a piece of paper. Let me just see if I've got a piece of paper here that's not written on. Okay, so it's it's like a piece of paper. It's that thin, okay? You know what paper looks like, how thin it is, right? That's how they appear. But when they activate, it's like... In the movie Stargate, where the energy comes out and you can see into it and you can go into it. Okay, so the day that I was here with Shelley and I said, Look, here's your portal. If you go through there, 
that's where your grand um your parents are it's where heaven is blah 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 right so i she was looking inside it she could see in it okay and i looked in it and it was like i could stick my head in there and it was all whoa but i don't go into portals because you don't know what's going to get there right you don't know where it's going but i knew intuitively that if she went through it that was her way home okay the white light if you want to call it the white light okay so imagine it as the white light as well you open a portal and they go through that portal it's like a stargate okay so she didn't want to go in there she walked out my front door and walked down the street i watched her i went outside and i watched her walking down the street she was looking into all the neighbors yards just looking for anyone that was going to take her to the hospital that day very very sad situation for that ghost okay so anyway back off shelly so portals they do open up so we can have good energy and we can have negative energy that comes out of our portals the way that we tell the difference obviously is how we feel when we're near our portal do we feel <gasps> or do we feel oh. okay you know the difference right you know how you feel when you're feeling good and when you're not feeling it. You know when you get like nausea? If you're near a negative um, portal, you'll actually feel nauseated. You feel like you're going to be sick because all your, it's like your insides are churning. Okay? And you get all, you'll get really, um, yeah, you can get like magnetic feeling on your skin. You can get electricity on your skin in a negative way. Um, you can even get like knots in your skin where it all tenses up and you think, wow, how am I doing this when I've not even got a muscle there? There's no muscle here, but why, why is it all tensing up? That just lets you know that it's like a negative energy. Good energies usually make you, they give you the tingles as well, but in a good sense. It's like it's uplifting and you think, oh, oh that sort of thing. Okay. So you don't get all the tummy upsets and stuff with a good portal, all right? So that's how we basically tell the difference, all right? So let's just say you've got a portal in your house. You don't want it anymore. Or you now, you don't like what's coming through it. How do we shut it down? The way I told Kay in New, New York, the initial Kay, how I told her how to do this was we put things on the portal about love. So I suggested to her to get a piece of paper and draw red love hearts on it. And in the center, you write a little message. I love you with all the loving white light of the universe. Something like that. Okay. And then all you got to do is stick it over your portal. So if there's a portal here above this wall, you stick it on the wall there. Okay. So I actually write the words twice on the back and the front you this part you put it into the portal you following me you don't want to stick it out you want it to face whoever's coming through it right <laughs> so you turn it around and you put it into the portal so on the back of it because there's the front which is now into the portal and on the back i've written the words again so they're on the both sides so when I walk past that piece of paper and I know that's where the portal is, I can say, I love you with all the love in white light of the universe because I've got it on both sides. So I can read it as well, okay? So the more we say it into that, and also what you can do is attach your crystals to it. You can put um, a little shelf or something where, you, where your portal is and you can put white candles you don't have to light the candles. It's that representation of red or white. White candles are great. Red candles are great too because they represent love, passion and all the rest of it like Christmas Day and Valentine's Day. Okay? Don't listen to the people who say it, it represents the red army and all the negative words associated to red because red is actually a very positive, loving colour. Christmas Day and Valentine's Day are red. Okay? So get into that mindset. So if you've got a portal, you can put your crystals there. Um, now, I've got the crystal dictionary here. I've got thousands of crystals in my house. But I always say to people, every crystal has its own unique job to do. 
just because you've got a rose quartz in your house doesn't mean that it's good vibrations and love. That could be your protector. That could be the stone that makes you sleep better. That might be the one that gives you your intuition so then you make good decisions tomorrow. Okay, so you've got to ask your crystal. So I'm going to do a video just about how to talk to crystals. Okay, and I know we can because I do. And crystals talk to me. So if I can get this and I'm just a, what am I, a single mother, no more special than you. Okay, so if I can do this, so can you. All right, so your portals, back to portals. How do we stop negative energies coming through them? We put love around the portal. So then whatever's nasty in there doesn't want to come through because negative will not ever want to be around positive. So if you've got a negative portal in your house that you want to get rid of, start saying love, 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 love things to it. Start putting things in front of your portal that you love. Things that's going to make you go, oh, when you walk past it. Because the more energy we create through our emotions, following now. So every time you look at this, I'm reminded of Valentine's Day. I'm reminded of my friend's birthdays. I'm reminded of the love I have for everybody. So I'm now emitting that into my portal. Okay? So anything negative on the other side, they're going to go... We'll find another portal to go through. They're not going to come through. But I'll tell you what does come through is all the good vibration stuff that you're attracting. Remember when I went like this before? Because portals are like magnets. So on the other side, wherever that Stargate portal vortex goes to, whatever you want to call it, whatever's at the other end, all the good stuff is being attracted to you from what you're creating on this end. So if you do want more love, good vibrations, good kindness, support, non-judgmental, non-accusing mannerisms about yourself or characteristics, you start talking kindly to your portal and whoever's out there in the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, right through to the 38,000th dimension... Anyone out there or anything out there that's in your same vibe, vibration, frequency, energy connection, it's going to be magnetized you know, and brought to your side, their side of the portal so you're connected. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so... If you've got a negative and it, I'm just going to go there. There is never a bad time with your portals to put up all your lovey-dovey stuff. Say your nice little messages. I send you all the loving, white, beautiful energies of the planet. Okay, you can write whatever you like on there as long as it's a positive, you know, Google positive memes or positive sayings and write that on there if you haven't got your own. Okay, send in you bright sparkles today. You know, I've got this male friend, he always says, I always say to him, how are you going today? And he says, I'm a box of fluffy ducks. I like it. I'm a box of fluffy ducks. Imagine what that looks like, a little box full of ducks. How amazing and that makes you feel great. So even if you want to write on here, I give you a box of fluffy ducks. Okay, box of fluffy ducks. So... <laughs> Hey, good Dave, if you're watching. All right, so you put it on your portal, okay? Or if you've got a portal that's like not in the middle, you know, not on a wall or mirror, because I love mirrors for some reason, okay? So some of the things that we can put there is our little love notes. Make a, And look how easy, look at this one. You can see how, how non-professional this one is. I actually drew it in pen first, and I said to Kay in... New York the other day because I was talking to her I said make it red so I went and got a red pen and I put it on there I said look make it red color it in all red because you're showing whatever's on the other side that you are loving you're kind you're in this high vibration so nothing bad is going to come through so when's a good time never to do that never 
there's always a good time to do this with our portals in our house. So do you remember how to connect to find them? Close your eyes and feel for them. They're everywhere. Do, 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 do. Who's watching me through my portals today? Do you want nasty things coming through it? No! So what are we going to do? You don't retaliate with the negativity back at them and say, F off, I don't want you here. You send it love and light because if it's not on that frequency, it'll nick off on its own accord. Okay? So you can put your crystals in there. You can put candles in front of it. Okay? You know, there's nothing wrong with even like stick, get some sticky tape, get a little crystal. You know, if got a little, I haven't got any here on my desk. But if you've got like a little crystal, you put it on there with a the sticky tape and you stick that on your wall where you've got your, well, you turn it around. Ah, remember, you've got to turn it around so it's facing into the portal. And then you stick that on the wall so then you've got it on the back side too so you can still repeat all your little mantras at it as you walk past. And all I do is I just put my hand up because I've got a nasty portal in my daughter's bedroom. It's a really nasty one. So how did we tame it or neutralize that energy over the past nine years? A little boy, a 12-year-old boy was murdered in my daughter's bedroom uh, about 50, uh, 20 years ago. The, he was in my house when I moved in. We all saw him, 12-year-old boy. He was here. He was petrified of me. He hates women. I think it was his mother who did it. But he was here. He's gone home now because a man came here and helped him. Um, so that was great. But in Tashi's bedroom, there's a big black portal. So what did I do? Where the portal is, I've put all love things. Things that Tashi loves. So it's her energy going into that portal. Okay? So here we go. What are portals? I've explained. Right? String theory. It's science. Okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, my God. So we've got what are portals? How do they operate? It's like strings. They go from one dimension to another or one location to another, right? What can come through? Anything can come through, okay? Think of the Morgellons. Think of um, um, Sleece Tacks, if you're from the land of the lost. Remember that show on TV? Sleece Stacker. <laughs> Sleece Tacks, okay? Anything could come through, okay? Do you want them to come through? No? So send your portal love, light. Put your crystals, put your candles there. Just have a little, have a little, um, uh, what, do you, what do they call it? Like a little altar. Put all the things on it that you love. So as you walk past it, you're putting that love out there as an energy connection. Okay? So that energy goes through the portal. So anything on the other side that doesn't like your energy, it won't come through. Okay? I hope that helps today. Now, if it did help and you think, wow, I'm going to use this, my PayPal link is in the description below if you want to support my channel. If you know someone else that says, wow, what's a portal? Send them the link to this video. So please share the information that I do. You know, I do all this for free. And if you go to someone to teach this stuff, they'll charge you hundreds. And I'm serious. Okay? If you've got ideas of what you want, like Kay from New York asked me about portals, email me so my email is below okay if you want copies of my books where i teach us how to be psychics that's in psychics explained if you want information about what happened when i died etc all my books are on lulu so click the link in the description below i hope that you all have a great day look after yourselves guys okay stay true to who you are that's my wish for everybody in the new year and i'll talk to you all soon bye